to my channel. Today I decided to do a pink look on myself. I don't really naturally gravitate towards pinks. It's not really my favorite color unless it's like hot pink, but I'll wear like hot pink sneakers, you know, but anyways, so I wanted to do a color, uh, a look with this Concrete Minerals Pigment Shadow or Mineral Shadow. This is called PYT. Concrete Minerals, if you guys don't know, is a vegan and cruelty-free company and I love to support that. So if you guys want to check them out, I'll leave the link down below as well. And then I also use my Glitter Injections um, Rose Gold Glitter. Popped it under my lid. You guys know this is like a signature look that I... I absolutely love to do. I do it all the time. I try to stay away from glitter as much as I can, but you know, it just attracts me. I really can't. Um, yeah, and if you guys wanted to know, I did color my hair. This is the color from Ion Brilliance. The front part is red, and then the back part, I believe it was called Dark Red Intense Blonde, something something along those lines. Once I figure it out, I'll let you guys know down below as well. And I cut about two to three inches off curly, and that's probably like maybe five inches straight, I would say. Um, and my hair is pretty long. It's out of frame, you guys can't see it, but I just washed it today and then I just trimmed it up a little bit. So it, f it feels healthier, it feels lighter, it feels better. I've been saying I wanted to trim my hair for the longest and I finally got around to it. So. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of loving the red, but I'm at the same time I'm over it. I kind of go back to blonde, but we shall see how the next week's uh, turn out. So anyways, hopefully all is well with you guys. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. Please hit that subscribe button, be a part of the family, and yeah, hopefully all is well. And I shall see you guys in the next one. Please remember to be blessed, well-dressed, and not stressed, and I'll see you there. Okay, so you're gonna start out with a clean face. My eyebrows are already on and my lids are already primed. So we're just gonna go on with Coco Bear from Makeup Geek right into the crease of your eye. You could use a nice fluffy brush. That's what I have here. This one I use pretty much every day for every look. I really um, love this color, Coco Bear. You could use a lighter or darker color, something that matches your skin tone if you don't wanna do such a, a noticeable transition. But that's the color that I chose. Next, we're gonna go on with Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek as well. And this I'm using just with a regular eyeshadow brush. I think they're called C brushes. I'm doing a padding motion. This color is pretty similar to my skin color. I decided to use this one because I wanted a nice base for the concrete minerals color that's gonna come up called PYT. Um, you could use the same brush. Now you're gonna see I use the color two ways. First, I pat it on my lid, and then second, I'm gonna go in with um, a rose water from Mario Badescu, wet the brush, and then I go back in with that same pigment. I felt like this made the color a little more vibrant. I used to do this all the time, but um, kind of fell off and then started again, and I really do like the way the color came out. It came out a lot more vibrant off camera. On camera, I feel as though it looks a little more dull, but trust me, it was very pink, very pretty, very shimmery, I loved it. So like you see here, I just wet the brush, I'm dabbing the color on, and then you're just gonna go back in with that fluffy brush to uh, make sure everything blends out really well. So back into that crease. You want to make sure everything is blended really nice. Even though we're working with really light colors and colors that are very similar, you still want things to look uh, very neat and seamless. So next you're gonna do your lashes. Here I'm using the Velvet Noir Mascara from Marc Jacobs. This has actually been one of my favorite uh, finds. This is also a cruelty free line from what I found out online. If you guys know anything else, just let me know down below. But I have been loving this. Um, and then I go in normally to do my eyeliner. Here, everybody always says that I do my eyeliner really fast. So I just left this part in real time so you guys can see that um, I do take my time. You could take as long or as little as you want this is a pretty small wing for me I just wanted to make it really about the um, color on the lid and the lashes so I left the wing pretty small and I also like this brush I normally always use the elf cosmetics uh, black liquid liner but I found this LA colors one at the dollar store and I found that the brush on this is super thin so if you want a really clean and precise inner corner you want a really thin line this is a great um, applicator for the liquid liner so I can recommend it and it was only a dollar I found it at the dollar store or 99 cents or whatever it is out here that's where I found it you can look around shop around and see what you find but this that's where I found mine and I really really liked it
Next here, you're gonna see I'm going in and I'm doing spot treatments for my skin. I had a little bit of a breakout, so I just normally take a Q-tip, dip it into my tea tree oil, and go right around uh, my face, all over the little blemishes. Uh, while this is drying on the skin, I normally will just like throw on my lashes or do something like that until it's all set into the skin, and I'll just move on. So next here, I'm with a Morphe brush, and I'm going back in with Coco Bear for the lower lash. I like to do this because it deepens it up. You can use Cocoa Bear or you can use the color that you use for contouring, but today I just use Cocoa Bear. My, they're pretty similar, um, but you know, that's what I use. So here I'm just rubbing it right on the lower lash line. Try to stay as close as you can to the lower lash line. This I really like to do to like deepen up that um, lash line and make it look really nice, especially when I'm using the glitter on the lower lash line. That's what I like to do. So I'm just fanning my face, hoping that the tea tree oil will fastly absorb into the skin and we can keep on moving next I'm using the 100% pure mattifying primer I have found that my skin uh, since moving has become a little more oily I used to be very dry in New York here I'm, I have a little more oil so I just want to make sure that throughout the day my skin's going to be mattified so I'm using the mattifying primer like I said from 100% pure I really have been liking this next I'm going in with my Sephora infusion drops and my Luxie beauty brush I will leave the link below for you guys to get your hands on some Luxie brushes is. I have a 20% off code. Finally got a code, guys. Yay! But I go in with the um, brush, and then I also go back in with the beauty blender to um, really pounce in the the uh, makeup, the foundation onto my skin. I really like this. I feel like as though it makes it look like my skin, but better. So next, I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Concealer. You guys know I really have been loving this for a really long time. From what I hear, it's um, very similar to the MAC uh, Pro Longwear Concealer. I don't use MAC because they're not cruelty-free. LA Girl uh, is cruelty-free. So that is the color fawn that I'm using. And then next, I'm going to go in and blend it out with ELF Cosmetics uh, Flawless Concealer Brush. I really love this brush, guys. Get your hands on it. It's only three dollars super affordable uh, I believe BH cosmetics also has one as well but I mean elf you can find it pretty much everywhere now I think you can even find it at Ulta I think I saw that online the other day but um you're just gonna go under the eye you're gonna make sure that it's blended out really well if you want to go back in with your beauty blender and make sure it blends into your uh, foundation color you can do that as well I really really like this brush I really can't express it to you any better way get your hands on it and watch, and I'm going to tell you guys I'm going to want to back up and they're not going to have any more. But <laughs> um, I really like that brush. I'm going to set my um, concealer. Here I'm just using Ben Nye's Banana Powder. And then I'm going to go in and um, set my face. So like I was saying, out here I feel like my skin's a little more oily. And I don't want anything to move around. So that is why I'm setting my face. I normally don't. Um, but here I am going to finally contour. This is Inglot's. Uh, pressed powder in color number 68. I have been enjoying this color for the longest time now. Um, I also picked up a color from NYX Cosmetics called Hollow. You can mix those two together. This, The Ingla is a little more red. The Hollow is a little more brown. So you can mix those two together to make it um, like really pretty. I use that square brush from Morphe. I believe that one's from Morphe. And then next I go in with a crown brush and just blend it all out. This is a clean flat top kabuki. You're going to go all under the cheekbones, hairline, jaw, and make sure everything is blended out really, really well. Next, I'm going to go in and just put a little bit of shimmer on my face. I have these mineral pearls from e.l.f. Cosmetics that I really like. And I'll just use my e.l.f. Cosmetics um, Kabuki brush. And I'll go in and put that all over the face. Next, I'm using my ombre brush from NYX Cosmetics in the color Nude to Me. And then I go in with my Loud Cosmetics brush. Uh, uh, blush brush or I think this is just their big brush I forget what the name is I could leave it down below as well uh, just go in and put that all on as your blush I really really like this color it's very sun-kissed um, like you guys know I like to hide from the Sun <laughs> so this is the way that I wake up my skin Next, we're going to go in with the glitter. So I'm going to use a NYX Cosmetics glitter glue and then just tap on the glitter injections, rose gold glitter underneath the lash line. Like I told you guys, I bought these vials maybe a year ago. And for me, uh, because I really wanted to test out what colors I really liked and see what, what I would maybe repurchase because the, the injection shots are so large. So let me just get the vials. What? They were like $1.25 each. Um... 
and so far I really have like my tried and true but I definitely recommend glitter injections to you guys my package got to me very quickly I have so many colors I think I have 50 different color of glitter and I really do love them uh, so I can recommend it rose gold is really pretty copper crush is really pretty I can leave my suggestions down below if you guys like as well and they're just gonna go in and go and do your lower lashes I just use the Marc Jacobs velvet noir mascara as well here I'm going in with NYX cosmetics pale pink lip liner I'm putting this all over my lip and then I'm gonna go in with color pops Tootsie all over the lip as well Tootsie is very matte and I wanted something that was gonna be uh, more glossy so i went in with kiko milano cosmetics in the lip i think it's called the lip gloss stick in number 11 and i really love this color combination it was pink but not too pink it was nude but not too nude it was a good mixture and i don't know i really love it tell me guys, tell me what you guys think down below Hopefully you guys like this video. If you have not subscribed, please do. I don't know what you're waiting on. And if you like the video, please give it a big old thumbs up. Thank you guys. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye.